The Seeds of Conflict, French Indochina and the First Indochina War. This chapter delves into the complex history of Vietnam's struggle for independence, focusing on the period of French colonial rule and the subsequent First Indochina War. Vietnam, a nation in Southeast Asia, boasts a history rich in culture and resilience. Its landscapes, from lush rice paddies to bustling cities, tell the story of a people who have endured and thrived through centuries of change and adversity. However, the path to its present-day independence was paved with conflict. The journey was marked by numerous struggles, uprisings and wars that tested the resolve and spirit of the Vietnamese people. For centuries, Vietnam struggled against colonial powers, beginning with Chinese domination and later French rule. The Vietnamese people have a long history of resisting foreign domination, showcasing their unyielding desire for sovereignty. The French established French Indochina in the 19th century, encompassing Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. This colonial entity was part of France's broader imperial ambitions in Asia, aiming to exploit the region's resources and strategic position. This colonization sowed the seeds of discontent, fanning the flames of Vietnamese nationalism. The imposition of French culture, economic exploitation and political repression led to widespread resentment among the Vietnamese populace. Following World War II, a charismatic leader named Ho Chi Minh emerged, determined to liberate Vietnam from foreign rule. Ho Chi Minh, inspired by communist ideology and the principles of self-determination, became a symbol of resistance and hope for many Vietnamese. Ho Chi Minh, a communist, led the Viet Minh, a nationalist movement fighting for independence. The Viet Minh, composed of various factions united by the common goal of expelling the French, began organizing and mobilizing the population for the struggle ahead. The First Indochina War erupted in 1946, pitting the Viet Minh against the French forces. This conflict was not just a battle for territory, but a clash of ideologies, with the Viet Minh advocating for a communist future and the French seeking to maintain their colonial empire. This eight-year conflict marked the beginning of Vietnam's long and arduous struggle for self-determination. The war saw numerous battles, with the Viet Minh employing guerrilla tactics to counter the superior firepower and resources of the French military. The First Indochina War was a brutal and costly affair, with heavy casualties on both sides. The human toll was immense, with countless lives lost and communities devastated by the relentless fighting. The Viet Minh, employing guerrilla warfare tactics, proved to be a formidable adversary for the French. Their knowledge of the local terrain, coupled with their determination and innovative strategies, allowed them to inflict significant damage on the French forces. The war culminated in the decisive Battle of Dien Bien Phu in 1954, a crushing defeat for the French. This battle, fought in a remote valley, saw the Viet Minh encircle and overwhelm the French garrison, leading to a dramatic and symbolic victory for the Vietnamese. This pivotal moment signaled the end of French colonialism in Indochina and set the stage for the Second Indochina War, more widely known as the Vietnam War. The legacy of the First Indochina War would continue to shape Vietnam's future as the nation embarked on a new chapter in its quest for true independence and unity. The Rise of Communism, Ho Chi Minh and the Viet Minh. The spectre of communism loomed large over the Vietnam War, casting a shadow that would influence the course of history for decades to come. This struggle was deeply intertwined with the nation's fight for independence from colonial powers, particularly the French. Ho Chi Minh, a fervent nationalist and communist, sought to unify Vietnam under a communist government. His vision was not just political, but also deeply personal, driven by a desire to see his country free and prosperous. Inspired by the successes of the Soviet Union and China, Ho envisioned a Vietnam free from colonial rule and embracing communist ideals. He believed that communism could bring about social justice and economic equality for the Vietnamese people. The Viet Minh, under Ho's leadership, gained widespread support among the Vietnamese peasantry. They promised land reforms and social equality, which resonated deeply with the population that had long suffered under feudal and colonial exploitation. This promise of a better future appealed to a population weary of exploitation and foreign domination. 
The Viet Minh's message was clear. They were fighting for the people, for their rights and for their land. The Viet Minh's communist ideology, however, became a point of contention on the international stage, particularly during the Cold War. As the world divided into two ideological camps, Vietnam found itself at the center of this global struggle. The United States, deeply entrenched in the Cold War rivalry with the Soviet Union, viewed the spread of communism as a threat to its interests. American policymakers feared that a communist Vietnam would be a stepping stone for further communist expansion in Asia. The domino theory prevailed, suggesting that if one country fell to communism, others in the region would follow. This theory became a cornerstone of US foreign policy in Asia. This fear fueled America's involvement in Vietnam, transforming what was once a local conflict into a proxy war between superpowers. The Vietnam War became a symbol of the Cold War, a battleground where the ideologies of communism and capitalism clashed with devastating consequences for the Vietnamese people. America's early involvement, the domino theory and support for South Vietnam. The United States' involvement in Vietnam was a gradual process, beginning with financial aid and military advisors in the 1950s. The Geneva Accords of 1954, which officially ended the first Indochina War, temporarily divided Vietnam into North and South. The North, under Ho Chi Minh's communist government, aimed for reunification, while the South, backed by the United States, resisted communist influence. The domino theory played a pivotal role in shaping American foreign policy during this period. The Eisenhower administration, fearing the spread of communism throughout Southeast Asia, pledged support to Ngo Dinh Diem, the leader of South Vietnam. American aid flowed into South Vietnam, bolstering its military and economy. However, Diem's regime proved to be corrupt and unpopular, failing to gain widespread support from the South Vietnamese people. The Viet Cong, a communist insurgency group operating in South Vietnam, challenged Diem's authority, further escalating the conflict. The United States, increasingly concerned about the stability of South Vietnam, gradually increased its military presence. Section 4. Escalation and Intervention, the Gulf of Tonkin Incident and American Combat Troops. The Gulf of Tonkin incident in August 1964 marked a significant turning point in the Vietnam War, leading to a dramatic escalation of American involvement. This incident, which involved alleged attacks on US Navy destroyers by North Vietnamese torpedo boats, has been a subject of intense scrutiny and debate for decades. The incident, involving alleged attacks on US Navy destroyers by North Vietnamese torpedo boats, remains shrouded in controversy to this day. Some argue that the attacks were exaggerated or even fabricated to justify increased US military action. While the details of the incident are still debated, the Johnson administration used it as a pretext for expanding American military action in Vietnam. President Johnson and his advisors saw this as an opportunity to take a more aggressive stance against the spread of communism in Southeast Asia. The Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, passed by Congress with overwhelming support, authorized President Lyndon B. Johnson to deploy U.S. combat troops to Vietnam. This resolution gave the President broad powers to conduct military operations without a formal declaration of war. This marked the beginning of America's full-fledged involvement in the war, transforming the conflict from an advisory role to a direct military intervention. American combat troops began arriving in Vietnam in large numbers, and the U.S. military presence in the region grew rapidly. American combat troops surged into Vietnam, engaging in search-and-destroy missions against Viet Cong guerrillas and bombing campaigns against North Vietnamese targets. These operations were aimed at weakening the enemy's ability to fight and disrupting their supply lines. The war escalated rapidly, with hundreds of thousands of American soldiers deployed to the jungles and rice paddies of Vietnam. The harsh and unfamiliar terrain posed significant challenges for the US troops who had to adapt to guerrilla warfare tactics used by the Viet Cong. The conflict became increasingly brutal and costly with heavy casualties on all sides. 
The American public grew increasingly divided over the war, leading to widespread protests and a growing anti-war movement back home. The Gulf of Tonkin incident and the subsequent escalation of the Vietnam War had far-reaching consequences, shaping US foreign policy and military strategy for years to come. Section 5, the Tet Offensive, a turning point in public opinion. The Tet Offensive, launched by the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army in late January 1968, proved to be a turning point in the Vietnam War, significantly impacting American public opinion. The offensive, named after the Vietnamese Lunar New Year holiday of Tet, involved surprise attacks on numerous South Vietnamese cities and towns, including the capital, Saigon. While the Tet Offensive was a military defeat for the Communists, it dealt a severe blow to American morale and public support for the war. The offensive shattered the perception that the United States was winning the war and exposed the resilience and determination of the Communist forces. Television played a crucial role in shaping public opinion during the Tet Offensive. Graphic images of the fighting, including the execution of a Viet Cong prisoner in Saigon, shocked the American public. The offensive fueled anti-war sentiment, leading to widespread protests and demonstrations across the United States. 